Ham Radio 2.0, back in the shack. This is the latest update for the Ham Shack. Uh, let's see how this goes. So, quick and easy. Good afternoon, my name is Jason, I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, Please click on the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all the videos that we post on this channel. Uh, everything that's new in amateur radio. So, um, let me show you a clip of where I started, and then we'll get into this clip right now. So this is the ham shack. What I wanted to do was record a video in stages. Well record a couple of videos that show the stages of the ham shack redesign that I'm doing. I built this desk about two years ago. I built these shelves about one year ago. That's kind of phase one. Phase two was this desk unit here. Previously I had a shelving unit right here. It was about the same height with a black drape over it. And the shelving unit was not flat. It, it was kind of curved and it had holes in it. So it's just a plastic shelving unit that you'd put in your garage or your closet or something. So when I'd set an HT down, sometimes it'd fall over because it wasn't an even surface. So I got the even surface thing going here. Um, I've ordered a new, you can see the lights, um, the light boxes. I think you can be able to see that right there. Maybe here. Yeah, see there's my light boxes there that are attached to the ceiling. So those are light boxes that, that are mounted to the to the to a couple of the studs in the ceiling, like right there and right there. And those can be turned off and on with switches on them. And I've got another one. I've ordered another one for a camera that can go right there and pull down here and show a camera pointed straight down so that I can have an HT or a, some kind of new item in my hand and record it while the camera's going. I can switch back and forth with the wire cast. My new mixer is going to go over here. My mixer that with my larger mix. So I've got a mixer here right now. I've got a larger mixer that I've been using on my live streams. I'm going to put it in here permanently. Computer, monitor, power supply over here with a couple of feed lines coming in for various radios and a test feed line so that I can plug it into whatever radio I'm testing. MFJ power supply, MFJ meter, this isn't the meter. I've got another power, another large screen LCD display meter here somewhere. Everything's kind of in shambles right now. Um, over on this shelf here, I'm gonna put my TV right there on the wall, which I've got it taken down because I've taken it to a ham fest this weekend. And then on top of these, on top of this shelf, this uh, desk, I should say, I'll put uh, I'll line up some HTs, put it along in here uh, for a charging station, maybe a workbench station with a soldering station and whatnot. Uh, there's uh, Mr. Ten Point and Mr. Eight Point that go right there. Probably going to have to move him over when I put the TV up. There's my kegerator with the ugly Bud Light handle on it that I'll be replacing soon. <laughs> over here is, uh, I got a couch. Sit and watch TV when I want to. And that's, that's the shelf right there that the repeaters are sitting on that used to be my quote-unquote desk that I had in this position. So I thought it'd, be, it'd still make for a good shelving unit. And then over here, this is my Kenwood, or Kenwood, this is my Yezu FT-101 E system. Have that there. There's a, an Ubuntu server here, or not a server, a Ubuntu desktop station. And my new Flex Radio 6400 with the separated Maestro. Probably seeing a lot of videos of that. In fact, those videos may post before this one does. 
There's my lighted sign from giftsforhams.com. And underneath here, a 170 milliamp hour battery. I'm sorry, 170 amp hour battery. I'm so used to saying milliamp hour. A couple other batteries. Right now I've got the battery on a maintainer, but it will eventually be on a solar panel on the roof. And then there's my rig runner from West Mountain Radio, which is currently running the Flex Radio. That's the only thing I've got it on right now. So I've got the the wire on the far left right there go is the main power that goes to the battery right there. And then the wire third from the left is going straight to the flex radio. And of course, those are double fused. So here it is looking from my viewpoint. There's the two light boxes. Uh, air condition. I turned the air conditioner off because it's really loud in the camera. And then these would be the benches here. So that camera that I mount will basically look like that. I'll be programming a radio or something like that. And then I'll put, I'll have my main camera from this view, like I normally do. And then I'll probably put a second camera right there at desk level view. So that if I'm working on a mobile radio, programming, firmware update, something like that, unboxing, whatever, it'll be able to be shown easier. Cut down on a lot of time should should it should cut down on quite a bit of recording time. Cut quite a bit of editing time. So if I have a camera here, my main camera here, which is the camera that everybody's used to seeing, a second camera here pointed down, and a third camera here kind of pointed at whatever I'm working on, and I can switch that on the wirecast as I'm go as I'm recording. As I'm recording the video, switch here, switch here, not have to go back later and edit it. I think it'll make for a, a easier recording, a quicker recording experience, so that I can get more videos out. So, next step is to get everything situated here. Obviously, it's total shambles right now. Um, I'm going to get the finishing touches put on the desk, a couple more pieces of trim here, drill a couple holes in it. I'm going to paint everything, set everything down where it's supposed to go, clean up all the storage underneath there, and that should be done. So, next part of the video should be most of, most of that. So, what that is, is that's the redesign of the ham shack obviously. Um, I'm 90% there. Uh, you can see I've got my wirecast set up over here. I've got my uh, new camera here that I'm looking at right now, obviously. I'm recording real time and editing on the fly, which should make recording times much faster. The, the times between recording and posting should be much faster, which was the, the goal of the thing. That and just to have more space in here. So, um, I've got, let's see, let's put this here. I've got this camera right here, which you can't see. Let's zoom out on this. So, this camera right here that's hanging from a, a um, tripod mount on that's mounted to the ceiling right there, hanging right here. And that's going to give you this view right here. So this is sitting on my desk. I've got, uh, so I can work on a radio here just like that. Hopefully it stays in focus. Um, show you what beer I'm drinking. <laughs> uh, I can switch it and do both right here so that I can talk to the camera at the same time and look down and say this is the new micro router, GL USB 150 router from the, uh, I'm going to zoom back in on this just like that. And... I can get a screen capture. We got a uh, screen capture of the website here. And then go over to the other screen over here. And the computer behind me, which you can see in the background right here. So that computer right there behind me, which is my Ubuntu 16.04 box. I think is it, I think it's 16.04. It's the, it's the one that came from 16 for the long-term support. Is 
connected directly into my Ubiquiti air router running mesh networking. So it's hard, so my my Linux box is hardlined into my mesh network, which means I can access not only my local router but everything else that my my other router sees, which I have it tunneled right now. I don't have any RF links up yet, but that's uh, that's one of those things that we're working on. So if I go over here and come back to this screen, I can go to Team Viewer and I can show you this is right here is where this is my current router I'm plugged into. AR20 is for air router, 2 gigahertz omnidirectional antenna, which of course is what that is. Uh, and it's on auto refresh, so these are all my neighbors right here, and these, these are all tunneled connections. You can see the tunnel right there. And uh, these are all the neighbors that are being serviced to the tunneled connections I have, either via tunnel or via RF. Most of them are, most of these on the left are via RF. But, um, that is that. So then I've got um, my radio set up behind me. Move this a bit. IC7700 that I picked up in an estate sale a while back along with this uh, AL1200 amplifier. That's my FT736R. Hopefully going to be doing some VHF contesting on that soon. Elecraft KX3. We're going to have some uh, videos on that upcoming. This is my sound box here. Um, got the laptop there. My flex radio. My Flex uh, 6400, which is actually on the... F my Flex radio is on the floor right now because the coax I have running to it is not long enough to go all the way up the desk. I've got another coax for it out here. Got to go out and set that up and get that put up. And then the, the Flex radio will go right there where my Ham Radio 2.0 sign is. And then I'll do some rearranging of the other signs over there. So you're going to see some really cool videos with Flex radio upcoming. I'm looking really forward to that because that's been fun. 13 contests, um, probably be posting that this week, posting this video this week. 13 contests, the original 13 contest HF event is going on this week, July 1 through July 7. I've made about five contacts so far, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get the Flex Radio in here and um, make some more contacts and let you guys see what that looks like. Hopefully make some contacts while I'm actually, stream um, while I'm actually recording. <laughs> Always the challenge. Always the challenge. So I'm looking really forward to this. This is going to be a neat um, setup here. I've got some more. Let's see. Where is? No, that's not where it's at. I must have left my phone inside. I was going to record some more. Anyway, um... Down here underneath is my is my power supply. I have a power supply and a 170 milliamp hour battery, which I got a picture of earlier. I've also got this. I don't have it yet, but I'm going to be installing this Buddy Pole Power Plus uh, controller. So let's put that there and that there, just like that. So this is the Buddy Pole Power Plus. That will have a DCN. It has a DCN. Okay, let me focus here. It has DCN right here, so you can put your power supply here, and it has a battery backup right here. It doesn't charge the battery, but it uses the DCN, and then if the DC fails, it switches to the battery. Um, I think it may... Well, let me take that back. I think it does charge the battery. I believe it charges the battery, but at the same time, it... Uh, it does have a solar connection. That's the thing. So the other, the smaller version of this has a solar connection. I did one of those at Winter Field Day um, last January. This one's just a power distribution block with a battery backup built into it. It's got four power pole connections on the top and two USB connections on the top. And I think it's rated at 30 amps. So uh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to mount that down underneath the desk down there where I can... Um, have it running have it running the power supply and charging my 170 amp hour battery and then later on this year hopefully this summer I'll be putting up a couple of solar panels on the top of the shack here so that is all fun and exciting stuff looking <laughs> I'm really excited about the shack update as I have mentioned already so I'll go ahead and cut this short because I don't want to get too long winded with you guys but um Expect to see some really cool videos upcoming. Thank you in 73. Um, next week, I will be posting a video 
for, well, actually, probably the end of this week, maybe this weekend, I'll be posting a video for my Kickstarter campaign for the 2019 Tapper Digital Communications Conference in Detroit this year, taking place on September 20th through 22nd. So appreciate you guys' support on that. 73, thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time.